Welcome here, in this video tutorial I show you what inheritance is and why this is super important to understand. This is Wannabini, I am the developer of the game Clunky Souls and a programmer slash pixel artist. So if you are new here and you want more, consider subscribing to my channel because I upload every two days a video. So we have a little situation here, we have a player and once he touches one of those enemies, well, they subtract a lot of health and the last one subtract quite a lot. So how do we do this? So you understand where inheritance is really really a good thing to understand and to implement. If you go into here you just have an enemy and he has like a damage variable and he's subtracting it with a collision. So this is how for example a very easy collision would work. You just go for a collision with the player, so you do like this, collision and with the player. And there you access not the HP of the enemy, but the HP of the other one. And the other one is the thing you collide with, so you just go for other, dot and the HP and you just subtract the, the damage which you listed here. So this is quite easy, but imagine you're having lots of enemies and they have different kind of damages, they have different kind of HP pools, different kind of behaviors and every time for example you want to change something small, you have to go into every one and just change it and this is a lot of work and that is something if you want to avoid in bigger project. So how can we, well, avoid this with inheritance. So this is a concept which is very very normal if you do object oriented programming so you're learning something, I don't know, if you're going for a programming course and this is the inheritance part. And this is just consisting of two things, the children which are inheriting something from the parent and you can call it super parent, whatever you want to call it, um, that's the thing which has some characteristics. And a lot of times it's just blank, it just gives you like the prototype information. They're just gonna get passed down to all of them. Because for example, the spikes thingy is definitely different than this one. This one, for example, is walking around, building something. And this one is just sitting around to nothing and, and hurting the player when he comes near to it. So what could this be? I don't know, for example, the HP, the damage output, maybe something or uh, this minion is having an item and so on. These things are just defined as the parent object and just passed down to those children. So how do we do this? Basically you just go into your child and you go under parent and normally it's nothing and you just go alright I want to have a parent which is my super and you can only have one parent so you cannot have two, but you can, for example, go hierarchically. So, for example, the super parent could be having a child, and that child could be having a child, and the child of a child, and so on. So, you can have a hierarchy which is going down, which a lot of games do. So, for example, if we delete those things, you see something which is a little bit gray. And here it says, All right, I'm inheriting something from the super parent. So, for example, if you open it, ah, all right, so. We're inheriting automatically a damage of one and an HP of one. But for example, we say, all right, we want to use those things, but change them. Because a lot of times you just want to inherit a few things and, well, sometimes you don't want. For example, if you don't want anything, you just go and let do your own create or your own step or whatever, and you just override the thing which is there. So once you do that, all the code which is, I don't know, in this specific event and you do nothing here, you don't inherit anything, maybe sometimes you don't want to inherit stuff. But for example, if you want to use it, you go for event, inherited. And this little function you have to put in, and this is quite important. If you, for example, want to inherit something which is being done in the create event of, this, of the parent, and then, for example, you can use stuff which is in the, um, well, super, um, and the parent, which is in there. So, for example, you can go for HP, but for this enemy, I don't know, the HP is not 1, but it's uh, 50. Because you did the event inherited, um, 
thing before you automatically inherited HP1 and you just reset this variable to this one. This is quite handy to use it. So, for example, if you we come back to this little example here, if I wanted to do, for example, one collision, I, I would do um, a very unsmart thing, which is just one collision with enemy 1, collision with enemy 2, collision with enemy 3. And that is, I don't know, if you're having a game and you have lots of enemies, just wasting resources for nothing. And that we can, of course, change, because we can say, alright, I want to have a collision with our super parent. So, once we um, have a collision with our super parent, all the children will be affected as well. And so, you can do one collision and you catch all of them in one stroke. And this is the, the beauty of well, the parent-child system, so this is just inheritance. And that is being used a lot of times, I don't know, for example, if you um, want to, for example, to give all your children health bars. The parent is having a health bar, so do the children. The parent is having these kind of things, so do the children. The parent is being invincible for a short time, so do the children, and so on. And this is how you structure your game. And every good or bigger video game really does that, and that's why it's so important to understand this very easy but very powerful concept. And before I end, one little thing I wanted to show you, there's this um, tile set which is free on itch.io and I used it here in my video and it's really really nice and I just wanted to give you a little shout out to this creator, so if you like this stuff, download it, if you maybe like it a lot, maybe buy it, I don't know, but for now it's free so you can do as you please with it. Have a good one, one up in you.